In this video, we're going to look at a battery analyzer that will determine the amount of capacity that a rechargeable battery, or any battery for that matter, has. And it does it by a constant current discharge. Pretty cool little device, got it from icstation.com. Let's take a look at it. So the Tech 6 is a constant current electronic load. And it uses a high precision DAC loop control technology to control the output current for the power supply or battery. So that the current does not change with the voltage changes, it is a load itself. And you no longer need another external load when you're measuring discharge. This is a battery discharger, right? It'll measure our batteries. It's a linear electronic load. It's not a PWM load. And the, the Tech 06 will automatically calculate the product of discharge current and time and detect battery capacity. And it can also be used as an electronic load to verify a battery or a power supply output uh, capacity. It has a maximum current of 3.5 amps, a maximum power dissipation of 16 watts. And we can connect the computer to this. I'm not going to do that, but it, you can connect the computer, I guess, through the USB port. So you can uh, draw your discharge curve. I don't have the software for that, so I'm not going to bother with that. But I'm sure with the right software, you could do that. Uh, it has an encoder switch for easy setup. And you can set your current and you can set your uh, discharge uh, minimum voltage and so forth. It has a maximum connection voltage of 15 volts. And the power off voltage can be adjustable in the range of uh, between 1 and 12 volts and step through uh, 0.05 volts. It says when the battery current is not enough, the detector will automatically set the current until the actual current meets the set value. So if your battery won't put out what you've set this to, it'll, it'll figure it out and set it to maximum. And um, the, uh, you power it up with a USB power supply or computer. And um, they say it'll detect the maximum detection capacity is uh, 500 amp hours. So, so 500,000 milliamp hours. Uh, you can adapt a, a four wire battery clip, which I've wired up here, so you can measure your internal resistance. And basically what this does is we're going we're gonna to put a battery on test here and we're going to see uh, how this thing works. This is an evaluation unit, so this will be interesting to see what this thing does. I haven't powered it up yet. But I'm going to be doing that momentarily. I'm just reading the setup for it here. So let's uh, power this thing up. Get my power cord. And you can see we have a digital display. And it looks like if we translate to English, our five inputs here. Our five settings are your voltage in amp hours, your measured voltage, your shutdown voltage, the uh, current in milliamps, and the internal resistance of the battery. Now we can adjust these accordingly. For so, for example, this is set for three volts here. But if I press down on the encoder switch, I can adjust my shutdown voltage. Three volts is normally where you would set for a for a lithium ion battery. You don't want to draw it below three volts but you can set it anywhere I think it'll go up as high as what does it say 12 volts I think it was maximum of 12 yeah you can go as high as 12 volts for your shutdown and as low as one volt so we're gonna take this back down to three And then you can set your maximum current. So we we'll go down to the next one. This is in milliamps, so 1,000 milliamps is one amp. But you can take it down from anywhere from, from uh, 50 milliamps all the way up to 3,500 or 3.5 amps. I'm going to set the discharge on this at one amp. And this one here, what does that do? Oh, that doesn't do anything. You only can adjust those two. This doesn't allow you to change. The only the only settings you can actually change are that one for your minimum voltage and your current. So um, we have our connection here. Basically, it's four wires, two for positive and two for negative. So I've got the, the green brown wire is going to go to the negative terminal and the two white wires going to go to the positive. The reason you have two separate wires is because if we look on the back of this thing here, you'll see that one of them is a voltage measurement loop that's going to just measure the voltage of the battery. The other one is the current loop, which goes through this large trace here through the 
I guess it's a transistor or a MOSFET that they're using, and then drains it back to ground. And these are the ground terminals here. So here's our here's our linear drain here. And it's all controlled by the electronics. That's the the brand. It's a Shonda Electronic. So let's get this thing prepped up. I'm going to use my little $4 single cell battery just because this is an easy one to open up. And this will actually let us measure the actual current of this cell. So I'm going to take the cell out. This battery is fully charged. Somehow this will come out of here. I've had it out before. <laughs> so there we go. It's just giving me a bit of a, a little bit of trouble. So I'm going to hook up a couple jumpers here. We'll connect our negative terminal to the negative and our positive terminal to the positive, and we'll let this thing run and measure it as it discharges, and it'll tell me the capacity of the battery. At least that's what it's supposed to do. So as you can see, I've connected my two terminals. I'm just going to open up the, the positive lead here so I can connect my positive terminal up to the battery here without shorting anything out. Where am I? Good grief. <laughs> okay, there's my positive terminal and we'll connect the negative terminal down here to the side. And this should now start to... So there's our cell voltage. And this thing should calculate out. There it goes, okay. So it's just started up here, and this is going to count our amp hours. And here is our internal resistance of the battery. And this thing is now going to discharge the battery. And as the battery discharges at a one amp discharge rate, it will uh, calculate our capacity in amp hours. So if we switch it up to amp hours here, this will count our amp hours for the battery until the battery goes dead. So now we'll just let this thing uh, discharge and uh, we can time how long it takes to discharge the battery. If we look at the time here, it's exactly 6.30 when I've started this. So this will tell me my actual capacity. When, the, when it gets to the shutdown voltage, this will have accumulated how many um, amp hours this battery, this cell is capable of. I think this is really quite a useful device and I think it'll come in very handy when I start doing some more evaluations of some of these uh, uh, power banks. Maybe I'll revisit some of the other power banks and we'll actually put it on the cells and actually measure the cells themselves. And I can do the same thing. I can take the, 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 the 5 volt output from the inverter, we can connect it to that and actually measure how many uh, amp hours we can get going through the converter circuit. So I think this could be quite an interesting little device. But I'm going to uh, just let the camera roll here and uh, we'll time lapse this so we can see how long this thing goes for. But our voltage is at 4 volts now. It's going to shut off when it gets down to 3. And here's our internal resistance of the battery. The cell, the cell resistance. So that's not an interesting one though. The interesting one is going to be the amp hours. So enough for me. Let's discharge this battery. So it's now finally shut down, and here's our capacity, 1.55 amp hours. So 1500 
milliamp is what this battery was rated. And the, even though the cell doesn't say what it is, <coughs> I think I, I guessed it was probably going to be about 1800. It's falling a little bit short. 1550. That's not bad though, right? That's not bad. And um, here are internal resistances of the, in. I guess this is in milliohms. 168 milliohms was the internal resistance of this cell. But anyway, that shows us the capacity of this particular battery. Very useful little tester. And uh, for anyone looking to find out the actual capacity of a battery, this will come in very useful. I'm going to uh, revisit some of the tests and we'll actually charge this thing up and I'll do another one with the output measuring from the actual inverter. And we'll do a test on that and uh, see how that one fares. But for this video, the demonstration of this little module, this one's done. Hope you enjoyed this one, and uh, the link for this is on the screen. It came from icstation.com. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.